Okay, we're going to move on because uh, some more breaking news from UEFA this afternoon, and it concerns uh, Austrian international Marco Arnautovic. Uh, the UEFA appeals body has decided to suspend the Austrian Football Association player Arnautovic for the next UEFA representative team competition match, for which he would be otherwise eligible for insulting another player. And that's the only detail we have. We, we all know about the instant that we're talking about. is after he scored his goal, which is, mm. uh, is an unusual time to lose the plot. Normally you should just go and celebrate, <laughs> but he lost the plot. And he was, allegations were made against him by a couple of the uh, North Macedonian players that he used offensive language and offensive terminology. He did, yeah. Again, like you said, that this, this would seem a, a very odd moment to start saying whatever it is he's alleged to have said. You would have thought this is a moment to celebrate. You can see his teammates, Alaba in particular, try to calm him down. but. The wording of UEFA and the ruling is that he insulted another player. Now, insults happen all the time in a pitch. Most of them yes. are, are glossed over. What he said was deemed un, um, too far. But he, he did say in his own statement, I am not a racist. I have friends. He went for the, you know, some of my best friends defence. Yes. I, I have friends in almost every country and I stand for diversity. Um, maybe missing the point that who his friends are and where they're from is, is not the issue here. It's what he said. So um, he's been banned for a game. Yeah, did he? I mean, it, as I said, it's an unusual time for a player to decide to uh, abuse the opposition. He scored the goal. I mean, that, that's punishment enough for them. Mm. But uh, he's of Serbian descent and some of the North Macedonian mm. players are of Albanian descent. There is a history there. And uh, all the indications are that there was something implied in, in what he said after the goal celebration, but it's in bad taste, isn't it? And it's very unsportsmanlike. No, it is, but then again, nothing uh, will or would surprise me when it comes to Marko Arnautovic. You know, he's fairly uh, volatile, isn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, I think he came to Inter Milan when he was 18, and he, uh, I think his first training session he turned up in a Ferrari, and I think Mourinho sent him straight back home. And, and that was the start of his, <laughs> or, the, or the end of his short career in Milan. Not that there's anything uh, wrong with driving a Ferrari. <laughs> no, true. Yeah, there's other. Yeah. Uh, but it, it just shows, yes, he's, he's volatile. He's, he's, a, he's a maverick. He's a, he's a genius at times. Yeah. Um, but you just, uh, he's, he's volatile. And obviously this is something, this is why he's never played for a top club. You know, he had a, a decent spell at West Ham. Now he's in China for the last two or three years. Um, but it's, it's sad in a way because I think it's, it's a talent wasted in a way and uh, what, what, what I saw in the footage and obviously I saw it at the time I didn't know obviously you know about the, the history between uh, Albania I think a couple of players got uh, from Albanian descent um, yeah. uh, Alioski was one of them who plays for Leeds um, but the reaction of David Alaba because Alaba is a captain of that team and he came and he pulled him and he, 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 he kind of wanted to shut him up by grabbing his mouth yeah mm -hmm. so maybe he thought there might be trouble ahead or, or, he knew. or something he knew there was Hest trouble. Yeah, yeah you know that wasn't a normal celebration where he say just grabbed him in the, in the face and celebrated with him i think he did it for a reason yeah so um i suppose some of the players were aware have been aware before the game that there might be uh, something going on or there is history i think and, it's important um, it's important uefa acted because i think there's loads of discussion around this tournament about the symbolic, peaceful gesture of taking a knee and what does that stand for? There's yeah. people with respect written on their shirts. There's so many advertising campaigns, marketing campaigns from UEFA, promoting respect and diversity. And if you see an example of somebody who says something which is clearly in this area, which is completely inappropriate, and if you then fail to act, then everything else is just window dressing. But so it is good that they've it's, reacted. But they have to, yeah, yeah. because you, you, you can't make, make a claim that you're promoting any of these really abstract sounding terms like equality and diversity and inclusion, and then you see somebody speaking in a way which is an affront to all of those things, and there's video, like there's evidence of him doing it. You can lip read him. I don't yeah. speak his language, so I don't know what he said. I told, I told, but if you don't act, I told, then, I told, I told then you're just agree with you, spoofing. It's all just empty but nonsense. But don't, don't you think... If that's the case, and what he said is, is 100% right, I'm 100% mm. I'm, I'm behind it, but don't you think if that's the case, the UEFA has to clarify why they banned him? Because an insult is just an insult. We saw yesterday um, Rudiger, Rudiger uh, grab uh, Pogba, mm. Pogba by, the, by the breast or by the nipples he, and, and had, a little, had a little bite for some reason. It was crazy stuff. Uh, they didn't react. But so, that's, that's their physical acts. 
their acts you know, of aggression what, or assault, whatever insult, you call them. I think they have to clear... Yeah, what the insult is. What an insult is, because... As That's open to interpretation, insult, isn't it? There, there's 10, 20, 50 mm. insults on a football pitch, as you there, well. There's loads. Well there's loads. You, there's you, loads. you, you, tr you threaten yeah. opponents, you insult them, you mock them, you jeer them, you try and provoke them to wind them up. All of that stuff, weirdly, is in the acceptable category of what happens in a yeah. football pitch. But there are certain terms, there are certain subjects or certain aspects of a opponents or fans identities that you you just can't refer yeah, to. Yeah but don't you think that's why they have to have to clear it up and, 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 and let us know, let the public but I, know. But I don't think anyone who's aware of what he said needs it to be clarified why he's been banned. Well we don't know. But I don't know the wording of what he said because I haven't looked it up. But, but I don't think I don't think UEFA need to necessarily go out of the way to inform luckily, you all the evidence. Luckily for us, it. the UEFA appeals body are there to actually decide the level of insult and, and the ban. So they obviously felt it was serious enough. But we don't know yeah. what the insult was. But they made the judgment and they've conducted the ban.